Hey guys, we got a fun video for you today. Uh, on our recent trip that we just got back from, we found that our kitchen water faucet has a leak. So, doing a little bit of research, find out that more than likely it's going to be the cartridge that's in the uh, faucet itself. So, first we got to do is take apart the, car the faucet and find out what kind of cartridge we're going to need. All right, so after a little bit of research, it seems that we have an LCI uh, Max Flow water faucet. So I found out how to take it apart, and we're gonna pull the cartridge out, get a new one, and reinstall it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna unscrew this here, and then down inside, I know you can't see, but there's gonna be an Allen wrench, or I'm sorry, an Allen nut, so you will need to get an Allen wrench and take this part off. <clears throat> so the cartridge that we're talking about is going to be right here. In order to get it out, you have to unscrew this bezel right here to pull the cartridge out. In order to do that, you've got to loosen it. So if you get some needle nose pliers and you unlock it, you should be able to twist it right off. And the cartridge comes right out. Make sure that you clean well and make sure there's no debris or any other rubber fittings that may have deteriorated. So this is the old cartridge. This is what it looks like. It has no identifying marks. So I did some research. I found the part on LCI's website, um, but I didn't know how long the shipping would, would take, so I ordered one off of Amazon, and hopefully it'll bolt right in. And this is the replacement cartridge I bought off of Amazon. One day shipping came right to me. So now we're gonna install this and check for leaks. All right, as you can see, there's two guiding bump outs here that's going to help you line it up inside so that it snaps into position. So once it's seated then you'll take your locking nut here and screw it back on. So you're going to want to make sure it's hand tight and then you're going to take your needle nose pliers and you're going to tighten it so you want this to be as tight as possible to secure the cartridge in there. Then you're going to reinstall re your lever. And your hex locking nut. So what I'm doing is I'm pre-threading that locking nut. So it's still in there. And then I'm going to slide it over. And then I'm going to lock it down. Make sure everything's nice and tight. Then you're going to reapply your level, your lever, sorry. All right, so now we're going to turn the water back on and test for leaks. All right, we've repressurized the water system off our water pump, and now we're going to check for leaks. So let's make sure it works.
right, now, before we were getting leaks from in here and it backflowed out to here. So, now we have no leaks, good to go. All right, guys, that was pretty quick and painless. Um, I did my research before I checked it out, uh, knew exactly what to buy, and if you have an LCI kitchen faucet, you can buy the direct replacement part from LCI on their website. Um, I didn't know what their shipping was going to be like, so I went ahead and ordered off of our Amazon account. I found a direct replacement that lined up, went in just fine, and so far, all is well. We'll let you know if something else uh, <clears throat> comes up with the repair. Uh, just one quick note, uh, when we were diagnosing the leak, we did double check all of our fittings underneath the sink. And now that we're going into our third year of RVing, all of those needed to be hand tied, all the drain valves and everything like that. So keep that in mind as you're keeping your rig um, ready to go. Check all your fittings under the sinks, the bathroom. Make sure everything's nice and hand tied. That way you don't develop a bunch of leaks because obviously you know it's a rolling earthquake when it's going down the road so uh until next time guys be safe and i will put all the links for that i used um in the description below so have you had this problem let us know you know uh we're still learning as we go but luckily this was a quick and simple repair and hopefully you found it useful bye